Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media. Notification game. Mm, mm, mm. God Sword. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out, man. Enough is enough when it comes to these robberies in boxing. Because now... Like, if, if it ain't more obvious to y'all, I don't know what else. To, that's why I don't say shit. Because I tell y'all, then when the shit happen, y'all don't go back to the videos and be like, I told you. Y'all want me to make a whole nother video saying the same shit I said already. That's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you one time, in one video, one live stream. After that, if I see that I'm going to be regurgitating the same shit over and over and over and over and over again, I ain't saying shit to you niggas. Saying nothing. If you have the machine behind you, shit like what happened with Josh Taylor and, and, and McCattle, that shit gonna happen. Because I, I don't know what the fuck they was watching. Josh Taylor got his ass waz, zaz, 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 whipped. I, did, I gave Josh Taylor maybe three, four rounds to be nice. But to be honest with y'all, I gave Josh Taylor three rounds. Against Jay Catterall. Three. Josh Taylor did not win that fight. For him to say, I clearly won the fight, you are a delusional motherfucker. Because I honestly, I, I thought Jay Catterall put them paws on you, bruh. Them, them one twos was landing all like long. You didn't make no adjustments. You didn't keep him on the end of your jab. You didn't use your range. You didn't use your reach. You was just too busy trying to knock him out, go, go straight. You was head hunting, wasn't even going to the body. None of that shit. And Catterall put them paws on you. The whole 12. In my, in my opinion, he put them paws on you the whole 12. But to be real, he beat your ass. He won the fight. There was nothing about that fight that made me say, hmm, maybe, hmm, maybe. The only reason why I said that about the John Ryder fight with um, Danny Jacobs was because John Ryder actually turned up on Danny. I don't think that, and I look back at it, I don't think Danny really lost. I think they could have called that a draw. Because John Ryder did turn up. I know a lot of you, Danny, Danny won, Danny won. John Ryder did turn up on Danny mid to the late rounds of the fight. In my opinion, I feel it could have been a draw. And if at, if at the worst for Ryder, it could have been a split, de split decision for Danny. But John Ryder, you didn't win that fight. That could that should have been a draw or a split going towards Danny Jacobs. But that's neither here nor there. But Josh Taylor should not be undisputed champion right now. It should be Catterall. But boxing is very fickle, finicky. They they when they have the machine behind you, you could obvious and he was at home. That was another reason why um Ryder got the got the uh got the nod, because he was at home. He already got the biasness. So when you are already at home, the swing rounds, which I think is the biggest bullshit in the world, just call it even. I don't believe in swing rounds. If it's a 10-10 round, it's a 10-10 round. Let it be a 10-10 round. Stop saying, well, that was an even round. We'll give it to the champ. Like, no, or we'll give it to the home. No, it's a 10-10 fucking round. That's the bullshit. That's why I don't believe when they say swing rounds. You know, when it's a swing round, they give it to the champion. So when you're saying swing round, that means the round was even. So if the round is even... Meaning nobody got the better of nobody. You gonna automatically give it to the favorite. Bogus. 10-10 round. Period. Or a 9-9 nine, nine round. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. But it should be called an even round. It shouldn't be no, oh, that was an even round. I'll give it to the favorite or the champ. That's bogus. Fraudulent. Straight up. But I can see y'all was seeing them swing rounds and just giving it to Josh instead of calling it even down the middle. Bogus. Gus, bitch shit, but Josh Taylor did not beat no damn Jake Catterall, Catterall put them paws on him, salute to you, because I believe you won the fight, I watched that shit twice, it was like, where did you clearly win the fight at, you wasn't even letting the motherfucker still pretty, like Catterall was not fucked up, he might have had maybe a scratch on him, motherfucker was still pretty, how the fuck, you clearly win, and you the only motherfucker looking. You the only person look like you had a fight, Josh 
Catterall didn't, didn't even look like he'd been in the scrap. You did. But you clearly won the fight. Bruh. That's cap. Cap, 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 cap. I get it. I'm having issues with 140. Fighting in your home. I get all that. But you was talking big shit leading up to the fight. I get to fight at home and fight in my home crowd. Blah, blah, blah. You was all juicing the shit, hyping the shit. I get you got to sell it. But that's what you was doing. But don't come up with all these excuses about now it's too hard to make 140. It was too hard to make 140 when you fought motherfucker Ramirez. So it, it didn't just become hard for you all of a sudden. It just all of a sudden that's a reason for you to use to justify your horrible performance. Now don't get me wrong. I know you better than that. I know you could have fought better than that. You could have utilized your tools better because you've done it in pre previous fights. But in that fight, that night, you got your ass whipped. And you did not deserve to walk out the ring with them belts. Period, point blank. Catterall should be undisputed champ right now. But when you have the machine behind you, or you have, or you're the favorite, they're going to edge a lot of bullshit your way. Like, if Danny Jacobs lost to, to John Ryder, based on that, that means Danny Jacobs should have lost to Gabe Rosado. Because Gabe Rosado obviously beat Danny Jacobs. It was obvious he won that fight. But because Gabe is a dude they try to use as a stepping stone or they try to use as a, a record filler or whatever, he didn't get the win. Even though he earned it, he fought a hell of a fight, boxed his ears, boxed Danny Jacobs' ears off because he wasn't the favorite. He didn't have the machine behind him. They gave him the L. And they trying to push Danny. It's bogus, bro. It's bogus. That's why a lot of American fighters don't want to go over there because of that type of shit. When in reality, bro, if y'all really that good, shit like that won't happen because you be beating the shit out of people. But either way, that's why they don't want to do that. Because y'all supposed to be knockout art. Y'all supposed to have all this power, all this skill. Y'all should be stopping motherfuckers. If you go over overseas, if you have to have the mindset, I have to stop this dude because the judges are not going to be in my favor. So this lets you know that if a fighter is the favorite or he's fighting in his hometown, he's likely going to be the favorite because he's in his hometown. The so-called swing rounds, which should be technically called even, they're going to give it to either whoever the favorite is or the hometown kid is. It's just what it is. But straight up, Josh Taylor did not win that fight, bro. <laughs> he did not win that fight. That, that was highway robbery without a gun that was a robbery okay castillo charlo won that was a robbery so all all, all those shits be robberies bro i don't i would have to say with that being said the danny jacobs gabe risotto danny jacobs john Ro those fight they robbery they robbing you they robbing you because of who they got the money behind they can't, they can't lose the money. We got to keep the money. Money can't lose. And that's what you seeing. That's what you seeing. Is the money. Money can't lose. The favorite can't lose. The hometown dude can't lose. Even if he is losing or he really did lose the fight. We can't have that. Cap. Y'all know what it is. One.